Hey, my name is Ben. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the contactor in your air conditioner. Uh, in this case, I have a unit where the contactor is being pulled in, but it's not making connection due to uh, basically some fried bugs underneath the terminal. Now, if you were to clean them up, you might be able to get this to go again, but uh, it'd be much better to just replace it with a new contactor so that uh, you won't have this problem again. Uh, the new contactors have the contact points enclosed so that it's harder for bugs to get in there and cause issues. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is kill the power to the unit by pulling out this disconnect plug right here. There's a disconnect that's pulled out. I've already checked the fuses so I know they're good. Now there's still 24 volts coming to this contactor because it's still being pulled in and, and that's because that power that is for the contactor comes from the furnace itself. So we can either go turn off the thermostat so that the air conditioning is not calling or we can shut off the breaker to the furnace. Either way, I think I'll turn off the thermostat. Here are the thermostat. We're just going to set the fan to auto that's already on auto and the system to off. The cool uh, indicator went off so there should be no power coming out to the unit on the control wiring. So the contactor is no longer pulled in, which means we don't have um, power out here. And the reason we do that is so that if you were to accidentally bump these control wires up against something, it's only 24 volts that feeds this coil, so it's not going to like shock you per se, but if it touched the sidewalls, it could short out and blow the fuse inside of the furnace. So you just want to have all the power turned off for um, that reason. Now we're going to start by just taking the contactor itself loose um, before we take any of the wires off it and then if we can if we have room we'll put the new one in place before we start to switch the wires over because that just makes the process of switching the wires a lot easier so I think that's just, is it just those two yeah it's just those two so we'll kind of just tip this back out of the way and I'll see if I can get this new one to mount into place here so L1 L1 and L2 this is where the power will come in and this is the power going out to the unit so we'll put it in this orientation because the power is coming in from the right on this particular one most of the time it would be um, like in this orientation you want to make sure the specifications of your new contactor are at least as good as the one you're replacing uh, in this case it's 24 volt uh, coil so that's where this terminal and this terminal go to. And then um, it is a 30 amp, I believe. Yep, 230 volt, 30 amp, which is adequate for this machine. This is a pretty standard uh, contactor. So unless you have a really big air conditioner, a 30 amp is going to be adequate. Now there's not actually very much room to get the contactor anchored in place here. So I'm going to do my best to do this. Uh, like this. Sorry about the angle, I just it's difficult to get it just right for you guys because uh, I don't have very many. It's the it's not very fancy. My system's not very fancy. Okay. Um, I'm gonna put this on this side right here. Line voltage coming in, those two move up to here and here. Voltage coming out, those two under this those screws go to there and there. And then right behind them, there's there's like a few plugs. There's one that's plugged down to here that's connected to this terminal. That'll transfer to that terminal, and so on and so forth. Just put them all to the like locations, um, and I'll show you what it looks like once I'm done with it. All right, so everything's hooked back up here now. You can see, basically, you just hook it up like for like, and it's doable. This one's kind of a headache because of the way the wires are all in here, but. We should be good to go. Um, so what we're going to do now is uh, turn the power back on at the thermostat so that it sends a call to this and this contactor should pull in if we did everything right. We'll put it back to cool. Okay, cool is on here and the fan did come on as well so we'll see if the contactor pulled in. The contactor did pull in so now once we apply power to the unit it should theoretically just turn right on so we will put the plug back in it here now you can put it this in a, in a one way or the other one way it's off one way it's on so here we go three two one it's 
these boxes that we anchored on the wall. Anyway, there we go. Start it up. Bad contactor. I will leave a link in the description to uh, contactors, and uh, hopefully you can find the one that you're looking for there. Um, like I said, 30 amps should be adequate. You want to make sure you get a 24 volt coil, because I sell other coils that are uh, the different amount of electricity that pull that magnetic uh, coil in, and 24 volts is standard. So make sure you get 24 volts, not 120 or 240. Uh, Thanks for watching. If this helped you out, please rate it up and subscribe down below for more helpful videos. And uh, feel free to hit that bell icon as well. Uh, yeah, I hope this helped you out. I hope you saved some money. And we'll talk to you later.